Hello my friends and welcome back to The Witcher 3, the Blood and Wine DLC. In yesterday's video, we began the Beauclair Gwent tournament and had obviously a very awkward cut. So in today's video, we're going to hopefully, hopefully finish up that quest and go from there. So let's hit escape and get started. Your Excellency, a pure pleasure to play you. The pleasure was mutual, I assure you. Congratulations, Witcher. Stop desecrating Gwent! Uh -oh. Death to any and all new factions! Right, bro. Seems there's some trouble brewing. Scoot, Olius! Off your asses and hide to Skellige! Yeah, I love and seal slappers. Please remain calm and stop the verbal attacks. Stop your mum from fucking ferrets, Monier! Uh -oh. And hands off our Gwent! It's, it's not your Gwent, you don't own it. So, yeah, what exactly is your problem? Maybe instead of hollering threats, you ought to just explain what it is you want. We've said it plenty of times, yet no one ever listens! Got me listening. Gwent's an ancient pastime. Its rules were set ages ago. Exactly. Determined in keeping with the laws of nature. There should be four factions. That is the optimal number. Will not tolerate the introduction of any others, it would disgrace the tradition. Aye, leave our Gwent the fuck alone. Enough of this! Then come here to Java, but to break fucking heads in defense of tradition! Come on, lads! Uh oh, what's going on? What's going on? Oh, that's your lucky day. I'll cleave the cunts, then dance on the bits! Gonna ring that fucker so hard, you'll trap ass for the rest of it. Okay, that didn't really work out so well. Boxing one the brain of box. Careful when I fuck you, you'll know it. I'll cleave the cunts and dance on the bits. Ow. Let's plow this new fax now with the horse. Careful when I fuck you, you'll know it. You'll regret that. Regret your They're they're very into their hashtag no changes, aren't they? <laughs> How come he gets to use a stick and I don't? That's not fair. Cooled you off a bit? Fuck. Seeing triple. Quadruple, even. Enough! I shall summon the guard! I got this count. Sure, you can shut this tournament down, but there'll be another, with who knows what new rules. If you don't like them, don't enter. Play somewhere else, however you want. But you'll never stop other folk from playing however they like. Mm -hmm. Bollocks! Like my good friend Zoltan Chive says, if one says you're talking bollocks, they could be right. They could be wrong. But if multiples say you're talking bollocks, well, you probably are. So let's take a vote. Who else here thinks I'm full of it? Zoltan Chive? Haven't seen that rascal in ages. How's he doing? Ah. Uh. Be glad to tell you of our bottle. Yeah, maybe we can just drink through our problems. We are in Beauclair after all, right? Was in Novigrad last I saw him. Be glad to tell you more over a flask of something strong. Attention, everyone! Our outing's taken a new turn. We're to sit and drink vodka with Zoltan's pal. Gentlemen, wait. We've still the final round of the tournament to play. I know. Fuck that. Hey, Yaki Raffiberg, the hereby declare my participation in this tournament, and I demand to play the victor. We'll settle whether the Skellige faction's worth a flaming bag of shit once and for all. Agreed, but please show some patience. We must first play a pre-final. A pre-final? In the... Uh, Pre-final, <laughs> Count Monnier, representing the Skellige faction, shall face Geralt of Rivia, also playing with a Skellige deck. My brother's dream has come true. Skellige in the final, and played by both contestants. Good luck. Yeah, good luck. I feel like we're gonna need it, so let's just leave it as is. It's been lucky so far, right? Oh, something good. Give me something good. Those, those, that's good. That's ugh, all three. Oh, I got Saris, finally! 
And then we'll get rid of that one. Two decoys. Oh, I, okay. But I've got a spy, so there's that, right? They'll probably have a spy. I don't... Oh, I got the bear one. That'll be a good one. Um, let's play can be right? Yes. And then... Hmm. Hmm. I don't have a... I don't have a more drone or anything to alter that one. Really? Okay. That was unexpected. I could lay them all down and win this round, right? Uh, um. Let's play this one. Now, if only I had my Scorched. <laughs> if only I had my Scorched. So, I think I will pull that one back. And then, hmm, I'll pass. They've only got eight cards. Or I've, they've only got five cards. I have eight cards. get two from their deck and I'm gonna get two from my deck. Oof, that hurts. That hurts a lot, actually. That hurts a whole lot. Okay, I'll put down mine, one of those as well. Oh dear, this is not gonna, oh, I don't think this is gonna end well at all. fine. Right? There we go. My mouse decided to not cooperate as usual. Sir, you passed. Awesome. Okay, let's get Saris out. Hopefully, that will get me way up there. I did win. Thank goodness. <laughs> I am gonna win. Thank goodness. I want to play all my cards because I just want to. Makes me happy. Yay! Congratulations! The best man has won. Playing the best faction to boot. Uh. Thanks. Good game. Stella got one! What a bundle of pish! Tournament's not done! Now, it's my turn. It is. That is what we agreed. Let us resolve our differences here and now. Now to determine the ultimate victor! Geralt of Rivia, playing the Skellige faction, shall face Yaki Raffiberg, playing... Skyatel! Let the better man, or dwarf, win! Oh dear. Oh good, I think the game is saving right here, so if I have to reload, I, I can't. All right, one more, one more game of Gwent. Let's see how it goes. Okay, I don't think I'm gonna need both Mar drones, so let's get rid of that one. 
Oh, I got Sarah's, yay! And I'm not gonna need both of those. Okay, that's, I have, I have no berserkers and no spies. That's not gonna go well <laughs> at all. Ugh. Well, let's uh, just play these and see how this goes. Really, you don't have anything else to go with us? Okay. Um. Huh. I I think I'll win with with six. There we go. Might not be the best of decisions, but it's fine, right? I hope. Uh, let's play this one. Oh no. Oh. That's. That hurt. That hurt a lot. Okay, let's see. Let's play my bear. <gasps> no, not again. Um, all right, well, I guess I'll pass now. That really stinks like a lot. Stupid scorched. Okay, so I can bring out my bear. There's that. Okay, we're gonna bring back this one. Keep it nice and safe. <laughs> okay. Huh. That's where all of my Sarah's ones go though. Um, let's actually waste my marjoram. I should still be able to beat this guy handily, I think. should still be able to beat him. No problem. And we'll bring out my bear. We'll play Saris in all of her awesomeness. Even with it going down to, what, two? And then this one goes here, and then I won the tournament! <laughs> Thanks. Good game. Bollock blasters! What hurts most is fucking Skellige one! But as they say, tough shit! Congrats! Come on, lads! Let's get soused! <laughs> no, you must stay, for I wish to treat you all to a tittle. We must toast the premier of the new faction. Anyone wishes to play a friendly match of Gwent, I see no reason why not. Thank you for everything, Witcher. You're welcome. No, no, no problem at all. No problem. Had fun. Yeah. You proved yourself a true Gwent master. Here, the grand prize. You earned it. Thank you very much, Count. Thank you once more for deigning to take part in my little tournament. I hope we shall meet again. Who knows? Farewell. Oh, that was so great! 
Well, let's see if I can find that quest update. Then we'll talk to people and do... F I have a few other things in mind that I want to do today. So one day, Geralt came across a notice board with information about a Gwent tournament organized by Count Monnier and to be held at the Pheasantry. The Witcher, as everyone knew, was not one to turn down a bit of car playing, so he decided to join the event. Little did he know what surprises awaited him there. Count Monnier was a man as enterprising as he was creative. He and his brother Igor, 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 I think Igor, had decided to perfect Gwent by adding a fifth faction, Skellige. The Count announced that if Geralt wished to take part in the tournament, he would be given a basic Skellige deck, but would have to build it up himself. To acquire more powerful cards, girls had to find and defeat every Gwent, had to find and defeat Gwent players in Toussaint. Geralt's deck was deemed worthy by Count Monnier, and thus the Witcher qualified to enter the tourney. Players from all over the world were to take part in it along with him. There was a nobleman from Novigrad, the Nilfgaardian ambassador, and a fairy merchant, a contestant from Skellige, and the organizer of the tournament himself, Count Monnier. Geralt proved himself the best Gwent player in Tucson by defeating all comers of an all cor comers at the Elite Tournament. This was doubly happy news, for the tournament might never have come to any conclusion at all. A group of opponents of the new Skellige faction had decided to show up to express their discon discontent. A tense altercation took place, but luckily both sides kept their cool. Geralt played a final match against a dwarf named Yaki. He knew very well this was a game of key importance, for not only was victory in the tournament at stake, but also Count Mani's honor and the fate of the new faction he had introduced. In the end, Geralt defeated the dwarf and Yaki proved himself an honorable player by admitting defeat and remaining calm. If only all conflicts in the world could be resolved over a hand of Gwent. I mean, that would be kind of nice. So now I want to work on, since it's available hopefully, Spoon Taneous Profits. But are there any character updates? No. But I did get a new sword. Somewhere. Here we go. Belave. A steel sword, art intensity, igni sign intensity, axi intensity, and there's three slots too. Ooh. Hmm. I mean, I don't use the special for Iris, so I could entirely just do that. Maybe that's what I'll keep equipped for a minute. All right, so that's all sorted. So let's see if we can talk to anyone here. We've got Tagnar. Hey. Hey. Count Monnier. May we all play fair, show respect for our opponents, and may the best amongst us win. Oh. See, no. don't get mad. Just let people play how they want to play. It's not the end of the world. Yes. From me, he would everything buy. I buy, I sell, I buy. Gadzooks. I do everything but scratch your nose. But you don't have any. You're not letting me. So you know what? It's fine. Well, I guess. Is that everybody who's unique to talk to? Work doth one know. Looks so like it. Doth one gratify. Summoning a witcher? Was that truly necessary? Uh, obviously. Three cheers for the tourney's victor. Yeah. Hooray! Hooray! Yay. Hooray! hooray. <laughs> two two different Knights kinds of tourneys. And a knightly tourney and then also Letter from Count Monnier's brother. Also a Gwent tourney. So, dearest brother, I am so excited to hear you will be organizing a tournament where the players will be able to test a new faction. I think it's a think it is a fabulous idea. <laughs> Unfortunately, I won't be able to make an appearance. My health has taken a sudden turn for the worse. The medics don't see much hope for me. Oh no! Oh well. Everyone shall have their turn, as our father would say. I've had a good life. Oh, and I do not regret anything. Well, except perhaps for a few choice cards I lost over the years. But you cannot gain without risking something. This very well may be the last letter I write to you, so I'd like you to know I am very proud of you. A Gwent tournament using the new faction that is the idea of a lifetime. Do not worry about those who oppose your changes and indeed the notion of change itself. There shall always be malcontents. Those such as yourself should let intuition guide them and only the nearsighted, the unimaginative to steer our affairs. No doubt such, no doubt, no doubt stuck in a dark cave with with warming fires and illuminating candles beyond our reckoning. Thus, I retain high hopes for your tournament and wish it all the best. I believe it shall soon be the finest, most prestigious Gwent tournament in the world, your brother Igor. Oh, well, that's... Well, that was depressing. I would hate to come off as impertinent, but was it not you who won the tournament? Yes, I won both tourneys. A sweet shining sun. 
Okay. Let's behave, Fred. You're in Beauclair, see? All right, everybody's talking. But the spontaneous prophets, I picked this up when I was in, when I was doing the the white quest, the the white white or the, the quest over here at Tarastamara Cottage with what's her name, Marlene, I think. When I cured her, I picked it up. I need to talk to somebody about a mysterious spoon. I think it might be the innkeep. Welcome to the pheasantry. Hi. Uh, have you ever seen a spoon like this? Spoon like this? When you set a place, where's it go? My, oh my. It seems rather a fanciful bouillon spoon. Or a key of some sort. There's a note here. Yeah, note led me here. Any idea what the key might open? Never seen it before. But you might search the cellars. The previous owner left all sorts of knickknacks there. Uh, really? Really? That's it? See you later. Just go search the cellars? Can be merry. Thus spake the prophet Lebiota. Um, it looks like there's a door here. Huh. <laughs> I'm surprised she's not like, yeah, totally. Just give it to me and I'll take it from you. Pork relets, fish, yum. More, more wine. Old pamphlet. Okay, I've read that before. Lesser runestone. Okay. Locked. All right, what's in here? Smeagol Louis Circus's cookbook. Book contains hundreds of recipes, but instead of the recipe for Beauclaria, Beauclair raw rabbit or Beauclair Roy rabbit, maybe? On the last page, there are only a few chaotically written lines. Lebiota's weeping wounds, I've scoured dozens of elven manuscripts and at last I've found it. I now know, um, I know now, rather, what the spoon key I purchased at auction unlocks. It is nothing else but the key to the legendary studio of Ramses Gorthon, the elven priest of the goddess Den, 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 Nam, Mam, Baby. Oh my god, words are hard. Anyway, it doesn't matter. Whose culinary masterpieces remain unmatched by even the best of our modern chefs. If I can find the ruins of this temple, said to be somewhere in the Beauclair Forest, I'll find all of his legendary recipes. Not to mention the other priceless treasures this grandmaster chef must have kept in the kitchen where he perfected his art. The rest of the page is covered with a large greasy stain. So, so where on earth is this one? Up there. Huh. Well, I haven't gone up there yet. And I had other plans to do first. First of which is to go back to Corvo Bianco because I want to hang up the painting I got several days ago. And a week ago, probably at this point, <laughs> to be honest. And also put up my, my Gwent trophy. I so... To come off as impertinent, but was it not... Yes, it was me. It was me. You're welcome. It was me. So let's head over to Corvo Bianco. And then I think what I want to do is to try and do a Witcher gear quest line, but it kind of depends on where the first one takes me because I may do other quests along the way. Hello, vampire. Vampire. I know who you are. So let's fast travel to... My house, well, Geralt's house, Geralt's vineyard. Get some buffs while we're there as well. Come on, there we go. So let's see, I have not finished decorating just yet, but so where should I hang up this painting? Hmm, more weapons racks. Let's go in here and I think I'll, I, I did like this modern art piece that, that it has going on here. But let's hang up the white wolf. That's really pretty. I actually really like that one. And then let's put my trophy right there. Look at that. It's so cool. Oh, let's see. Where should I hang this modern-ish looking 
piece of art. Maybe we'll put that one right here. Yeah, I like that. It's nice and simple, won't detract from the weapons that I've got posted, or that I've got posted, that I've got hanging up. Let's see, can I put Iris here? Maybe? There we go. All right, well, I'm going to rest for a little bit, and then I'm going to head to the tourney grounds to sell some items, I believe. And then I'm gonna look at my quest log, and then I'm going to meet you somewhere else once I decide what we're gonna do next. And here we are in Flow Vive, Flow Vine, Flow Vive. And right nearby is the quest to be get, or the quest, the quest marker to begin our scavenger hunt for the Ursine gear. And also there is a Witcher contract for the two foe monster also right nearby. So I figured, hey, let's do, let, let's maybe do two, 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 one stone, two birds, that, that kind of, that, that thing. But anyway, I'm still marking the wrong quest. I want this one active right now. So I needed to find the place where the Witcher completed his contract, which was right over here. The guard brings peace. Collapsed building. Foundations probably caved in. Literally undermined. Hmm. So we need to explore the ruined building because we have been over here before. And I feel like he made some sort of comment when we arrived. Is there something like up here? No. Oh, lucky break. but there's it's something the right here. Ah, maybe, maybe something, something like this. There we go. Why do you keep showing me the picture? I, I get it. I have it. But I hung it back up, so I'm not sure why you keep showing it to me. Whatever, it's fine. Doesn't matter. Hair kit. Okay. Oh, here we go. Charity Gontran de Tufo's journal. So we have the silver sword, armor, and gauntlet. So three of the six. So 17th May, 1243, finally a response to my notice. A witcher, big as a mountain and bearded as a dwarf. He asked about the contract, then said he'd take it for about as much coin as we ha we've set aside for Fifi's dowry. That's some nerve, but I had no other choice. Then the next day, 18th of May, the Witcher claims the problems are caused by some subterranean monster. He searched the area and found an entrance to a complex entrance to a complex of caves by a stream in the Marcescent Forest. He plans to enter through it tomorrow. So two days later, the Witcher hasn't returned. Some elf from the city asked about him. Now that's some nerve given our ad address to non-humans. And then a week later, enough of this. I'll never hire a Witcher again. It will soon be 10 days since he took his retainer and disappeared. I plan to sell the things he left behind to recover at least a portion of my losses. Too bad he mostly just left scraps with scribblings that no one will ever want to purchase. Whatever beast the Witcher was hunting, doesn't seem like he killed it. No. I keep my eyes peeled. We, we do. Let's finish looting here. Oh, that's not, that's fine. Let's see, what else do we have? <laughs> just keep lighting candles. It's fine. Guarded treasure? Hmm, oh, oh, okay, that's up top. Oh no, it's over here. Ooh, interesting, interesting. And I saw a wraith, so let's get on some specter oil, maybe? Necrophage, Elementa. If I could just remember the colors that they go with. I do you like all the candles on the floor? It looks kind of cool. was so much faster than I thought it was going to go. Oh, a note. 
Was it a note to read? Maybe? Um, it doesn't look like it. It's probably like scrap or something. Can be sold to merchants or dismantled into crafting and components. Okay. So not a note to read. Oh, poor guy. Besotted Clerk's Journal. I've decided I shall ask her tomorrow. A man only lives once. We agreed to meet at our usual place at noon. Clarissa had asked for a half day off and I'll sneak away from the chancellery. That old fogey of a supervisor will never notice I'm missing. And even if he did, so what? I'm young, I'll find other work. Oh. Although if Clarissa found out I'd lost my job, she might not agree. I'd have proposed to her ages ago were I not aware of how much she fears a life of poverty. She's never said as much, but I can see it worries her. But what are we waiting for? Together we shall live more economically than apart. And finally, we shall not have con have constantly to scheme up ways to meet, to meet here. I wanted to invite her to dine at the best eatery in all of Eau Claire so many times that I've imagined what it would be like. Waiters decked out in golden livery would bring us foie gras and sorbets. Clarissa would sit on a satin cushion, a raven black crown of hair on her head and looking beautiful. The most beautiful woman in all the room. Then I would pull out a diamond ring. But the truth is I shall never be able to afford all that. Not even if Clarissa were to insist a ring of simple silver would be enough for her and we'd be better off spending that coin to buy a house in Hauterville where we could open up shop and she could sell hats. Thus I shall propose to her tomorrow in the abandoned wine cave which serves as our meeting place, our cozy sanctuary where we have spent so many pleasant hours together. She never complained that our only romantic moments have been spent surrounded by cobwebs and old barrels of wine. But tomorrow marks the end of all of that. Once we are wed, I will carry her across my threshold. It will be tight quarters, but there will be room enough for a bed and there will be no cobwebs. I've only a simple copper ring for her with a red glass jewel of the cheapest sort. But I promise in a year's time, oh, this is so sad. I will exchange it for a silver one with an amethyst or maybe even a ruby. Oh, Clarissa. Tomorrow cannot come soon enough. I think I shall not be able to, to fall asleep tonight. And they died here together. That's so unbelievably depressing. Gosh, that's, well, welcome back to the Witcher world. <laughs> oh, I'm sorry. That's so sad. Okay, well, um, I guess we should leave and then I'll look at my map to see where we're heading to next for hey, Tony Champion. maybe the other three diagrams. It is all the way over there, which isn't that far away. Herm, let's head, should I head straight there? Let's actually start the Witcher contract. So the Witcher contract was the Tufo monster where we had to go to the Tufo vineyard if you want hefty reduction. and talk to the poster of the notice. And I got this early on when I came to Beauclair, but it was, what level was it? Like 48 and I was like 39 or something ridiculous like that. No. Oh. Gray, yes, scraggly, yes, but at the tourney, he knew no equal. Yeah, I knew no equal. Better to push quills and drag hose. If I might we speak? My wife is surety. Yes. They say a great deal about you, Witcher, and whisper even more. All good things, though, right? <laughs> I can hope. So, Monsieur de Bourbeau. Yeah. What is it? Now, why does one summon a Witcher? Hmm? To inquire about the gossip currently flowing about the court? I have a problem with a beast. Ah, you the one posted the notice? Go on then, spit it out. What's it about? Ah, uh, ah, uh, ah. Uh. First, my dear Witcher, we must establish ground rules. Given the vast difference in our respective social positions, I'm sorry to say I take umbrage at the familiar tone you take. I expect deference. I expect you to address me as Sir, or better yet, as Monsieur de Bobo. Uh... I mean, you're kind of, I'll call you whatever, I, mm, fine. Next time I'll be snarky right back. Fine, Monsieur de Bourbeau. <laughs> the emphasis falls on the last syllable, Bobo. Mm -hmm. See, now I'd rather emphasize something else. Tell me what this is about, Monsieur, or I'll change my mind and go. Nortlings and their manners. <laughs> 
Very well. Let us get this over with. Something has infested my vineyard. Mm-hmm. Great. Let me go prepare my something oil then. <laughs> I beg your pardon? <laughs> Need more information than that. Where was this something seen? Any witnesses? Bodies to examine? Therein lies the rub. None has seen the beast. We've only heard signs of its presence. A strange scratching and shrieks. Neither are there any corpses to inspect. Men simply disappear without a trace. <sighs> okay, okay, the noises, where do they come from? Noises you mentioned. Where do they come from? Well, everywhere. But they're most clearly audible in the wine cellar. Means the monster must dwell underground. Hmm. When are the noises loudest? In the night, just as they were years ago, when the buildings quaked. Another expert agreed to look into the matter then, but was never thereafter seen nor heard of. Oh. The other witcher. So the missing men, tell me about them. Who's disappeared, if you don't mind my asking? Hmm. Most recently some farmhand, I believe. Despite the vast difference in your social statuses, do you perchance remember the farmhand's name, monsieur? <laughs> no. You must speak to my wife. She has more collegial relations with this household help. She's away at the moment visiting her mother, but should return forthwith. Oh, that should suffice with the questions. Now tell me, will you take the contract? Yay or nay? This guy is such a jerk. Yeah, let's talk about my pay first. You're such Depends. a jerk. What kind of reward are we talking about? Um... Let's see if I can get all of it. Probably not, but... How, how much? Do you jest? No. Oh, let's go down to 675, maybe. This guy's such a jerk. My wife deals with the help. Come now, be reasonable. 650, maybe? Hmm. Fine. Seems I must take the loss. Agreed. Good. So I'll do it. Fine, I'll do it. Need to look around here first. Then I'll want to talk to Madame de Bourbeau. Very well. I shall inform you once she has returned. Meanwhile, the key to the cellar. Just... Whatever you do, please do not disturb the wine barrels. <laughs> whatever. <laughs> yeah, go away. You've asked enough questions. Will you take the job or not? I mean, like, what a jerk. <laughs> So go to the cellars after dark. Totally well, an stomach. let's save, yes, and then will nine o'clock be late enough? I would assume so, but sometimes it's just not. Be gone from my sight. No, you be gone from my sight. Look, they've even got like little frescoes inside the wine cellars. It's really cool. Let's look around. Best to get the sellers using your witcher senses? I hear rats. We're totally stealing from this guy. Ooh, look, purple armor die. Look, purple is my favorite color, but I don't think <laughs> Carol would look good dressed up as a grape. Stock taking summary. The last tremors damaged several bottles, stands, and knocked over several wine barrels, whose subsequent rolling wreaked further havoc among the losses. 12 bottles of the 2020, 1263 vintage, 9 bottles of the 1264 vintage, 17 bottles of the 1265 vintage, 9 of the 1267, 7 of the 1271. In addition, two barrels of wine in the maturing process burst and split. The losses following this tremor proved greater than those after the previous one. These tremors shall be the ruin of me. Yeah, maybe? Shalmar? Maybe? No, sh is it... Is it a Shalimar, the one that uh, can't see and runs into stuff? Clearly, I remember my Witcher monsters very well. <laughs> okay, I want to finish looting and then I'll look at the red spot on the ground. Because this guy deserves it. Tufa Vineyard work schedule. Recapitul recapitulation. 
I'm saying that so bad. This past half fortnight, I was forced to reassign three workmen to cleaning up the damage caused by the earth's strange trembling, a fact would, which significantly slowed work on the vine. Sophie remains in confinement and will not be able to return to work for some time, and later her effectiveness will be hindered by the presence of a child. Jean-Luc did not even report for work today with no warning and no excuse. When he does finally show, I shall have to have a serious talk with him. Hmm. Centipedes or Shalmars, maybe. Shattered dishes. Got knocked off the shelf somehow. Shaken off, maybe? Hmm. What the? What the heck? I'm guessing centipedes. A tunnel? Hmm. Hmm, that's right, Geralt. No, I want to save. Really? Really? So lame. A bit more light could be useful. Okay, there we go. Um, hmm. Okay, there's stuff over here that I want to get. Hopefully not die to get it. How you like that silver? Probably going in the wrong way. Goes on and on this tunnel. But it's fine. We're just gonna go. We're just gonna go for it. Monster made this. Figure out what's causing the noises. Yeah. Should be able to break through. Mm, looks like there's a dead end over here. No, there's not. Jeez, we... Oh no, it is a dead end. Maybe. Oh. Is it a big, like, uh, Kikimore kind of nest with a big Kikimore mama down here? All right, let's save again. Oh, no, I didn't. Getting away. Search the underground oh. tunnels. I, I am searching. Very slowly, but I am searching. red things to explore. What on earth? No kicky more dug this. Tunnels are the work of something much bigger. Something with heavy, wide claws. Like what? Kicky more eggs. Should destroy them before the young hatch. Start growing the vineyard. Ugh. Um, 
Um, hang on, I wanna switch my priorities. I know I could do it, I think like with V or something, but. Ah, here they are. Why are you not destroying the eggs? Um, okay. Perhaps give you more eggs. Something's been feeding on them. Hmm. Something over over yonder, it looks like. Is there no. I feel like I missed a turn at the beginning and I should have gone a different way, but... Hmm. Ah. ah. Last one. Okay, so we cleared out all of the eggs. Ooh, no. There we go. Now we cleared out all the eggs. Water coursing, underground stream. Hmm. Monster I'm looking for lives underground, digs tunnels, feeds on kikimores, and is big, very big. Won't learn anything else here. Time to go back to the surface. Okay. Well, let's return to the surface. Somehow. Um. This way. Let's keep out my sword. Because there still be beasties. It's the dead end. Here we go. What was that? Sacre bleu! What is the meaning of this? I'm paying you to slay a monster, not demolish my property! Property's falling apart on its own, what with all the tunnels under it. I'd fill those in soon if you don't want your building to collapse. Tunnels? Fiddle my farm, how did tunnels appear down there? Something dug him, a large creature. Also killed a few Kikimors down there and destroyed their eggs. Consider it a half favor. Won't cost you much. Kikimor eggs. Yes, of course, good work. Indeed, a reward is due. <clears throat> Madame de Bourbeau, I presume? Here you know something about the missing farmhand. Jean-Luc? Yes. We went to examine this year's seedlings. Something had been nibbling at them. Then we heard these odd noises. John Luke went to reconnoitre and never returned. Hmm, where did you see him last exactly? Where did you last see Jean Luke, madame? Exactly. In, in the fields, uh, north of here, by the wood. New seedlings there? I was under the distinct impression we had planted them all on the south slope. Almost all, my dear. I requested that some be planted to the north, by the grove. Just the remainders. I feel like there's something else going on here. Like, is she having an affair with the farmhand or something? I'm just, just putting it out there. So this Jean-Luc, he have any distinguishing marks? Madame, could you describe Jean-Luc? Tall, exceedingly well built, hair black as pitch. Dear, concentrate. There is not a peasant that is not well built. They work in the fields all day. He means scars, birthmarks, that sort of thing. Hmm. Then none, I suppose. But he did wear a pendant around his neck. A silver one. Silver jewelry on a farmhand? It was a gift, I believe. Or that is what he claimed. Hmm. Should be enough to go on. Then what are you fritting round here for? Get to work! Lovely husband you have there, lady, but... Hmm. Well... Perhaps I can turn these tunnels into an extended cellar. 
probably not a good idea, monsieur. But I do want to follow with her and with him a little bit, but I think I'm going to put that off until Sunday because we're pretty much at time for today. We might even be a little bit long. So on Sunday, we'll pick back up here, check in with both of the owners of this vineyard, continue working on this contract and my uh, bear school gear or sign gear and... I don't maybe go from there, obviously. <laughs> so as always, thank you so very much for watching. Please do keep yourselves safe and I will see you again on Sunday with another new Witcher 3 video.